Hello, hello, YouTube family, YouTube world. T. Gilly here, back with another edition of Home and Car Review, guys. And I am here at Clayton Homes, located in KC, South Carolina. And I came here to view a beautiful manufacturing mobile homes that they have here for sale on the lot. So guys, please, let's do enter. Now guys, this is one of their new ones. Uh, from my understanding, they just uh, got this one on the lot. So this is one of their brand new edition ones. I ain't never been inside this one before, but I don't know if you guys can tell by the camera, but it is a bluish, like a blue color. The home is blue and the trimmings and uh, panels are like, you know, white. So it's like blue and white. And I'm feeling that, I like that. I like to be different. Now guys, before we enter, like I told you, the smallest thing catch my attention. That is one funny, unique looking doorknob. It's like a, it's like an egg. It looks just like an egg. I tell you guys, I'm just like a big kid, man. My apologies. Any little small thing catch my attention, I just go play with it. I'm, I'm, play, I'm just being honest with you. When I first walk in, I notice that they have like the little wooden little panel around the door. Yeah, man, I pay attention to everything, guys. It's, I like it. They got recess lights in here, guys. When we first walk in, this is the living room area. This is nice, man. My apologies, guys. Let me let me do a little 360 for you guys when we first walk in. Cause I, I was all over the place when I first walk in. Thrown off by a lot of a lot of small features. And they got recess like I'm taking it all throughout the home. Oh, I like that inside the kitchen. I don't even know what that is, but the, the way they set up the light fixture, the way it's set up, it's nice. God, thank you for having a feeling ceiling fan on. It is so hot in here. Okay, guys. Um they do have um an entertainment um central right here. That's a nice size. It's a nice size. I'm pretty sure this will hold up to about an 80. An 80 inch TV, television. Is it real wood? You betcha. Yep, real wood. I like the two lights they have beside it too, along with the uh, wooden panels. And then also the little white panel that's in the back. I like that, man. This is this is nice. I like this. Yeah, you got your two large windows right here. If I haven't mentioned it, I'm going to mention it again. If I did, my apologies. Yeah. But what I noticed, they have two... It's a split and in the um the entry doorway. So I'm guessing this is like a continuation. No, you know what? This would be the dining room. That's exactly what this is. This is your dining room, guys. With that one nice size window right there. And also with the two recess lights. Okay. So it's the dining room along with the living room combined. Okay, that's what I have to split there. Let's check out the kitchen while we're in here, man. That's one big island with the real wood. Real wood. I like this, man. Smallest detail catches my attention. But yeah, this is the light I was telling you guys about, man. Make sure no, no glasses right there. That's neat, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, man. White cabinetry in, inside of here. Now, for those who are familiar with my channel, you know I don't care for the Mitch match. Like the countertops, this right here, I don't believe it goes together, but at the same time, I see what they're trying to do. This right here matched that, so they're trying to, you know, and that, that countertop matched the white. So I see what they're trying to do. I'll let that slide because I believe this is like a, um, what you call it? More like a, your farm star style type home. 
and that's the look that they're going for. I'm pretty sure it is. I like this, man. This is really nice. And oh, they have a pantry. They got the farm door too for the pantry. The, the, okay, it won't slide. It must be stuck. Oh, it's, it's off track. I ain't gonna touch you guys. But this is um, a farm door for your pantry area. This is really nice. It's off track. I was trying. I was trying to shut it for you guys, but it's off track. It slides easily. It's supposed to be effortlessly, but you have your black appliance inside here as well, guys. Now, I wouldn't do black appliance. I would do stainless steel for the simple fact that you do have your air circling with the. Um, you know what? Is this glass? Yes, it is. I like this, man. This is nice. This is really nice. Cousin It on the Adam family. <laughs> but I like this. Really nice. Yeah, I would definitely swap out this, this black appliance. Because, you know, even with the farm sink... This big, lovely stainless steel farm sink here. These the type of button I would want on mine. This one right here. That's for the like the stream, and this right here is like the normal. Um, you need stainless steel to go to go along with the appliance. And I, I see that they have it going. I guess the refrigerator and the stove, along with the dishwasher. It would go along with the light fixture and uh, the black um, rail up top for the farm door, but the stainless steel would go better. For those who disagree, agree or disagree, drop it one. Drop you know, drop your your comment down in the comment section. Drop a comment, baby, if you disagree with me or if you agree. I like the window. Two nice size split windows in the kitchen. I love my I love windows in the kitchen, man. God, this is a nice home. I don't know how many times I said that, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna continue saying it because it's nice. And it do have solid flooring so far throughout the home. I'm pretty sure that's the master bedroom, and we will view that last. And as as I can see from over here, I have carpentry carpentry inside of the master bedroom, so that's good. But let's go down the hallway, guys. Man. And guys, what I'm gonna do. I'm a loop around, okay? I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna bang, 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 bang. I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna come back around, okay? That's cool, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if that's cool. Thank you. Um, first door to your right is a nice size, lovely, a very nice size and lovely laundry mud room. And they have cabinetry right here when you first walk in deep cabinetry at that this is deep man oh my apology i didn't mean to do that my phone it got blurry very deep let me stand back so you guys can see it get a full view of it i like that that's very neat and I never seen it before inside of the laundry room. Well, that's set up, that's set up. And they have a nice little bench right here. I like that. With um cover tree at the bottom and also at the top, along with your um your hangers. Of course they have recess light. So far, um I haven't seen any um regular light fixture. They have recess light all throughout the home so far. I love that. Of course, that's for a setup for your washer and a setup for your dryer. And there's your little back door right here. Um, your breaker box right there. 
I love the fact that they have a split right here. You can put whatever you want inside of there. And I'm like, yeah, there you go. Put your little rack up top right there, man. There's a lot of storage in here, man. A lot of storage, and I love it. Nice, man. This is really nice. And this is a big laundry mud room. This laundry room is pretty big. Not pretty big, it is big. All right, guys. Carry it along. Uh-uh. They got like a little lounge family room in the, in the, in the, in the center part. Okay. I see you. This is different, man. I like this with the nice size ceiling fan and the, the double windows. Okay. It's like two double medium sized windows. They're not real large, but it's big enough for me. And they have a little closet space right here. Oh, they showing out with this home. Yeah, they showing out. Small um, closet space, but hey. That's good enough for me. I mean, you know, big enough just to put some stuff in there, you know. Small little storage. Yeah, they showing out with this home. I like this. Don't like the vents in the floor, but I like this, man. Got your little, your little light switcher over here hiding in the corner. Uh-oh, cut that back on. It's hot. But yeah, God, this is really nice, man. Wow, it's in a, it's in the middle. Hmm, cool, 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 cool. Let's continue. Now your second door to the left, I mean to the right, is finally we enter one the bedroom, bedroom number one. Carpentry is inside of here. This is like a. Hmm. An uh, in-between of a junior and a baby's room. Um well it, it can it can it can definitely go for a junior's room before it's um be mistaken for a baby's room. Excuse the mess. Yeah, it's a junior size room, guys. It's a deep small closet. Excuse the mess, it's still setting up in here. Oh, I'll let you guys see a little bit. My apologies. I don't want to move too fast for you guys. Recess light is inside of the, um, the closet. Okay. Let's exit from out of this room, guys. They're still doing some work inside of here. Let's just see one more time. Okay. And... Exit that room and enter bedroom number two. Now this is a this is a baby size room, guys. It has a medium sized window, but this is definitely like a baby size room. And yes, I'm walking around in a circle so you guys can see. So they do have recess like all throughout the home. That's really good. I love the ones that have recess like all throughout the home. It's like a baby room, but it has a, a deep small closet as well. Carpentry is also inside of the closet, along with a recess light. Okay. Okay. We can exit from out of here, guys. We shall enter. We're gonna exit from out of bedroom number two, and we're gonna turn to our right, and this would be, I believe, bedroom number three with no carpentry. Yep, this is bedroom number three. Okay, now this is a baby room. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's a nice size baby room now. It's not. It's not too small, but it's not big at all. It's not medium size. It's like a, it's an in-betweener, but it is a baby room. 
with a medium sized window and a very small closet as you guys can see. But this bedroom right here do not have um, any carpet. They probably haven't put it down yet. That probably with all the other messes in the other room. But the closet, like I said, is very small. Oh, they got that egg shaped doorknob. Oh, that's neat. So not only is it on the outside, it's in the inside. I like that door. It feel good. When you grab it, it feel good, man. Let me stop acting like a kid. Let me get out of here. All right, guys, we're gonna exit from out of um, bedroom number three. I like this doorknob. Okay, so they have it on all the doorknobs. I didn't pay attention. The egg, the egg-shaped doorknobs. Okay, that's neat. They feel good, man. All right. So, guys, let me turn around so you guys can see. No I get confused. That was bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and bedroom number three with no carpentry. Remember? Hold my phone up so you guys can see. All right. Now we're going to head back up the hallway. They do have a door right here, but I believe this is the HVAC system, and I am correct. Ask me how I know, because I saw that right there at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, so this is not no storage closet, guys. This is a, a closet space for your HVAC system, okay? Ooh, that, that shit pretty hard. All right, so uh, the second door to the right. Uh, so on, this is your hall bathroom. As you guys can see, it, it is a small tub inside of here. I want to say standard, but this is not standard. This is pretty small. It's a small tub. Recess light is above your head while you're taking a shower and or um, bathing in a tub. You have your toiletry and a Chilling here in the, in the cut, along with the vent right there. You do have a circulant above the head, so don't be alarmed. Recess light, recess light, all up in here, that is good. A nice medium sized window, which is nice, I love that. And I love this countertop, guys, with the his and her, oh, they got a his and her sink in the, in the, the hall bathroom, wow. It, it's rare that I come across a home that has a his and her sink inside of the hall bathroom. So that's why I say, wow. And this, I love the countertop, guys. It's the wooden countertop, like the one inside of the uh, the feature that's inside of the kitchen. like Just like the island, the island that's inside of the kitchen. And those are my favorite um, sinks. Um, I, the chi like I said, the China style sink is okay, which is the oval sink that look like a dove soap, but I prefer the square sink. And I love the fact that they do have the, um, wood panels around the mirror and they do have a double mirror, which is good. Okay. And I like this wall texture on the back. I like that. Oh, <laughs> they tricked me. I thought that was actual cracks, but this is actually a uh, paint. <laughs> That's a strip. <laughs> I'm up here touching it like, oh man, they got like real wood. <laughs> That's neat. I like that. <laughs> they tricked me. I like this this uh, pattern as well. That's a nice pattern, like a swirl pattern. It'll cross your eyes up if you look at it too long. You walk outside of the bathroom, cock at it, for real. No disrespect to anyone that, that is cross-eyed. I mean, no disrespect. Alright guys, let's exit from one of the, um, the hall bathroom, which is the first bathroom. Let you guys get one look. It's a pretty nice size bathroom, to be honest with you guys, for a hall bathroom. That's a nice size bathroom. All right, we're gonna head back to the entry point. Here's your dining room area, remember? The one that I figure out what it was. Your living room with a nice um, um, entertainment center, along with the uh, kitchen. Beautiful. 
Beautiful kitchen. Okay. Now we're going to head this way to the master bedroom. I like this little shelf right here that they have before you enter the master bedroom. Along with the recess light right here. Okay. Let's enter. Let's enter. Have carpentry when you first walk in. As I mentioned earlier. Two nice size window. One on each side. Along with the ceiling fan. Who has this thing off? Please cut on. Fast in that right. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty hot in here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. But you know what? It doesn't matter. As long as I can get some video footage for my for my supporters, man. Whatever I have to do to get some footage for you guys, I'm going to do it. Rain, sleet, or snow. No, it's rain, sleet, hail, or snow. And they do have um, solid floor inside of the closet. This is the master bedroom closet. It's pretty small for a master bedroom. It is pretty small. Um, so I am disappointed in that. The master bedroom closet, I'm, I'm disappointed in the master bedroom closet, okay? All right, let's exit. In the master bedroom itself, is not big it's like a medium sized room it's not big at all so yes i'm disappointed in the size of the master bedroom okay so i enter the master bathroom guys solid flooring is inside of the the bathroom when you first walk into your right they have the toiletry chilling in the cut which is not bad don't have it doesn't have a door but that's 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 fine it's right here in the cut with a recess light above it also with the air circling good good okay let's turn to the to the to the left they do have a shower in here This that's real towel. Yeah, that's real towel. Okay. I love that shower head. That's very nice. I want the recess light above it. Popcorn ceiling. Okay. Not too shabby. I like the wood trimming they have here too. That's a, that's real wood. Wow. Okay. All right. His and her sink. Okay. At the end of each. There we go. At the end. A little bit of cabinetry, not a lot, but you can make do with that. You have you do have a window in here, which is good. Um, they do have the wood panels around the uh, mirrors. That's good. I like that. My favorite sink. I like that. Okay, but I do have a shelving right here, guys, in a in a corner. It's not much, but like I say, it's, it's it's durable. Real wood, once again. Side bathroom, and I noticed, guys, they do not have a tub. Okay, I have a problem with that. They do not have a tub in here. Oh, I didn't pay attention. They have um, um, hangers right here, I guess, for your towels, your towels and washcloth, or something like that. But they need more than three. Okay, I skipped that. My apologies, but I exit out, guys. I sweat like. I'm really, really sweating here. 
So guys, yes, please do tell me what you think of this home, okay? Drop some comments down in the comment section and let me know what you think, what you think, how you feel, how you feel. Now let me give you guys the information on this particular home. Once again, we are at Clayton Home in KC, South Carolina. The name of this home, guys, is Farmhouse Breeze 72. Square footage is 2016 square footage. That you, that which is pretty good, pretty decent. You got four bedrooms, two bath. Your base price is right there. That's the base price. So base price for this home is $144,346, guys. I will leave the um, information down below along with the contact information so you guys can contact them if you're interested in this uh, particular home. So, yes, guys, please let me know how you feel about this home, guys. How do I feel about it? On a scale of 1 to 10, guys, I give this home right here about a 7. But, um, but a 7 and some change. Uh, I like it. I really do like it. And it's really nice. But like I said, guys, drop some comments. Let me know. And like always, guys, please be safe. Stay blessed. And be easy, guys. T. Gilly. Out, guys.